Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rich from Planes Crew, bringing you a brand new series of a modded survival ser series. This is called The Turning, and it is uh, front on the te Technic platform. Uh, the link will to it to the actual pack will be in the description. And also, I just want to give a quick shout out to the actual creator, Enterprise 12, of this mod, mod pack. And the mod pack's official name is Industrial Age The Turning. So, I hope you guys are excited for this amazing. A uh, new adventure we're about to start taking part in, and <laughs> as you can see, there's a dancing tree in the background over there. They're moving trees, it's crazy. But um, quickly, I just want to quickly. Um, I started in game mode because I just wanted to run through some of the mods that are actually in this um, this mod pack. So we've got uh, whatever that is, <laughs> resonant induction, uh, thermal expansions blocks. Uh, the, the, expansion, the full therm thermal expansions mod, uh, industrial craft two, uh, carpenters, mo creatures, factorization, thermal craft, logistic pipes, extra cells, forbidden magic, harvest craft, um, project red uh, is also in here. Mine chem, uh, liquid XP, uh, yeah, flowers. Um, Mr. Crayfish's uh, furniture mod, uh, project red again. Open, what the hell? Whatever that says. Open blocks is in this. Random plants, yeah. Uh, Project Red again. It's also in here. Um, Redstone Arsenal. Uh, item groups. Steve's carts. Okay. Wow. God. All this is so like really complicated. You've got so many, so many different mods. Like build craft. Uh, Nature trees, plenty of biomes are plenty. Mine factory. You've even got like um, the bees. So you got the forestry mods. It's absolutely outstanding. This is a huge mod pack. Tinker's construct. Look at all these mod packs you can actually get. It's absolutely insane. Um, so this is going to be quite a long series, hopefully, and I hope you guys aren't too excited for this. And um. We are going to be like questing to do loads of things like head to the moon, stuff like that, because it's actually a full on. It's a mod pack that's just completely open, adventurous, mining, uh, machinery, everything. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so let's just quickly uh, get into this. Um, so there is actually loads and loads of um, different mobs because of the Mo Creatures mod. So there's, there's uh, mobs like werewolves, these things are like polar bears by the looks of it, but they are very hostile, they do tend to kill me. So I'm just going to get away from them pretty quickly. So, oh god, there's another one there. So this episode we're going to aim to do um, a lot of like exploration, uh, find a place to build our base, um, and just the general stuff before we actually get wild this water's purple. Um, why is this water purple? Did I just stun? What the hell? Tainted soil. What's this then? Just water. So why is it purple? See what I mean? It's just like so like open. There's so much to do. It looks like it's just going to be such a good series coming. So if you guys are excited, make sure you do leave a like and a comment on any questions or theories they have on this and any help you can actually give me. Cause some of these mods. Uh, I do not even have a clue how to do and I just need to quickly set sounds down a little bit uh, video settings brightness fully up because we don't want to see there's actually a lot of creepy things the hats mods on here as well so you get little hats um, so my sort of aim is to sort of make like some sort of like farm slash village sort of thing we can set up like all the different like fruit trees and stuff like that, and I also have like the industrial part where we may set up all of our machines and our uh, rocket launch pads and stuff like that. It's just going to be absolutely amazing. So if you guys are excited, make sure you do um, drop us a quick like and head over to this mod pack. Um, I would will put the link in the description as I said, and give it a thumbs up because it is a great mod, mod pack and it, it looks like it's taken a lot a lot of work to put together so thank you for that um, so here I just noticed um, quickly that there's actually a beehive here so if we go here we can quickly type in I think it's a scoop that we need and scoops this it's just that 
so you need wool which I haven't I don't think I've across the, come across any sheep yet so uh, these beehives you break and you get bees and you can start a full-on bee thing so it's gonna be in this village thing that I'm planning and setting out it's gonna be like a bee nature place and farms like cow farms sheep farms like I'm just gonna try everything because you can actually make a lot of things automated on this because it has got quite a few of the mods from tech it uh, therefore it gives you a lot of things to do see and it also gives you these things that I have no idea what they do but the one thing that I am actually excited to build with is um, the actual carpenters blocks because like you can make such nice things with them and stuff like that and the more more creatures mod that's insane um, also look guys make sure you do tell me if you do like this um, this texture pack because I don't know it's a bit iffy with me like I only like certain um, mod packs and I don't know um, and as you can see the adventure part is actually kicking in with the um, battle towers which you guys have actually seen on tech it if you actually did watch my tech it series uh, hex it series I mean um, oh, it's like soul sand. It's not even. A, it's like a quarter of a block. No, I mean like three quarters of a block or something, or half a block or whatever. Um, so yeah, if you did watch my uh, Hexit series, you would have seen um, quite a few of these. Ta oh, <laughs> sound effects. Uh, you would have seen quite a lot of these um, battle towers. So also I've got to be very careful there because there is a tiger here and I'm really not sure if these things are hostile. Because tigers tend to be a little bit hostile. But it looks like it's been alright with me at the minute so that's alright. Um, so what's that over there on that hill? Because I need to start thinking about getting some food. Um, so yeah I've got to kill some animals and get some food. I'm kind of still a bit wary of those tigers because I've got a really weird feeling that they're not like friendly. Um, so yeah guys, I hope you are excited for this. There's another battle tower over there. Uh, what is this? A big cat. Oh, that's like a um, a jaguar in it. I think, is it a jaguar? Um, yeah. I don't know, it's kind of... Obviously, I'm new to this, so a lot of this is going to be actually... I'm going to be relying on you quite a bit to give me a bit of information and stuff that you know about these sort of uh, mod packs such as Formcraft, and all these other different machining ones. Um, obviously, maybe at some point we might build a nuke, set up a nuke or something. I don't know. It's we could do loads of different things. It's absolutely crazy. We're also going to end up building a nuclear reactor and stuff like that for power. So I'm actually really, really excited for this. Um, so I'm just going to kill these pigs quickly, just get some extra food because it's going actually night time. And if you did, again going back to if you did watch my um, my Hexit series, um, you guys would know when it went day to uh, night time. I did skip through till day. I did set the time to day, but because in this mod pack a lot of the uh, the mobs are like nighttime based, I'm <coughs> I'm not gonna do that. So apologies for that as well. So I'm gonna actually ha play through the night. So I'm just going to keep um, going. I really want to find a place where I can actually build a nice house. Because obviously with these uh, uh, carpenter's blocks I can make really really nice builds. Um, so obviously I've got to keep an eye out for a nice place to build. So I'm thinking a like, flat biome is sort of required. I really want a flat biome. Um, I do love the sound effects as well. The sound pack that comes with this, um, this mod this mod pack it's really really good what is that ow 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 dude 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 ow ow oh god oh god oh no please 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 I'm on one heart right now I'm on one heart there's not a lot of friendly mobs in it a mini golem wow oh getting off to a fucking very hesky start there what the? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another one of those things. Those things are not nice. I don't like them. So we actually need to. Oh, this is a good place. Look at these mobs. But I don't really want to be in a uh, one of these biomes. But I do really need to go underground. But I've not got any wood or anything. I've not got any wood, food or anything. So here's some sheep. So if I just quickly grab some wood. 
Um, there's a zombie that I've seen. Yeah, I think that's a very scary looking zombie. See, as you can see from all those health bars up at the top there, is there is mobs on this that have a lot and lot of health, which are going to be like bosses and stuff like that. So I'm actually really, really looking forward to the ta Ow. Dude! <gasps> oh, dear. Dear, 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 dear. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Dude, 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 please, please. Dude, a horse. That's like an undead horse. That's insane. Oh, my God. What the? What's that? Heart of undead. Ew. Why am I holding this? <laughs> so, as you can see, it's very, very, very action-packed and stuff like that. So, I do hope you guys are ready and excited for this series that I have got planned. Um, so, yeah, this is sort of just like inductuary, uh, inductuary episode. I think that's a word, isn't it? Is that a word? So, it's sort of... In oh, gold creeper. Sort of introducing the series and what's going to be going on in the series and within the series and what's actually in the actual mod pack itself but obviously as you've seen it is very action packed and it is very there's a lot to do dude come on uh oh uh oh oh <sighs> right what's the difficulty on because this is like right let's leave it on that for now we'll change it back to the next episode but like that's just stupid <laughs> just put it on easy so that was on that was really hard it's really hard to survive so I am actually really really excited for this so now get into the uh, the actual game to make a carpenter blocks you need a lot of wood so you need like I think eight sticks and a wood plank to make five carpenter blocks so it's not actually that much actually if you think about it but I do I do want to make a lot of those blocks and we need to make like uh, roof tiled blocks and stuff like that it's like there's a lot of different things we can do so obviously this is going to require me to get into a lot of research so if you guys do not want this series make sure you do tell me because I don't want to go into too much effort to do it if you guys really don't want it so if you do just make sure you do leave me the support and the, the comments and stuff like that because it's just it's just a good time where I can interact with you guys you get like your own opinions forward and through to me and get whatever you want me to do done practically um, so this is going to be a solo series it's going to be me on my own um, nobody else is going to be joining in I'm afraid because I sort of like, we've got the faction series going and we've got this series going I want to keep it that way um, so now I'm going to stop talking about what's going to happen and actually get stuff done so I'm just going to give you a prime example of um, a carpenter block I think if I've done this right yeah a carpenter block which means you, when you actually click an item obviously I'll go through this stuff when it actually gets to it but when you actually click an item um, uh, click an item on these uh, these carpenter blocks it actually um, changes the item the carpenter block into that items pattern and then if you get a chisel you can actually use a chisel to change the pattern of that block itself. So I've got thin tree capitators on as I've just tried to chop down a tree and it's taken like 10 years. Um, I need to get some food. Um, obviously because I don't want to die again. Three deaths or two deaths already. Dude, for God's sake. Oh, right, I need to make a sword. I need to make a sword. Alright, come on. Let's get a sword going. There we go, right. Now, back to uh, breaking this tree for like 10 minutes. <sighs> See, I love the spawn I actually got as well. It's really good because you've got like the volcano mixed with the snow biome. It's a big, like, weird. it's really weird actually. Um, so, yeah, tree capitator is actually on, which is good to know. Because these ch chopping down trees is a lot easier and stuff like that. So let's just go for a, get a bit of food now. Uh, I'm not too sure if you can get food from like bunnies. Come here, bunny. Well, I didn't that time. Um, so 
I did find that other place where it had loads of animals, but I can't locate that. Uh, there's a bunch over here. Look at the wall. Are these guys hot hostile? Please tell me they're not hostile. Right, ducks don't actually drop food. I found out. Uh, zebras. There's so many animals here, like, I don't know what's going to attack me and what's not. Um, I've got to be careful. Obviously, I want to kill sheep so I can get a scoop. Yeah, you're definitely going to kill me, aren't you? So, it looks to me like these are the unhostile animals. These are, like, the nice, friendly people. Animals. Oh, you're not. You're not. I know what you're not. You're a pain in the ass. That's what you are. <sighs> right. Time to stay away from it. Oh, and you. That's a werewolf. Of course it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please, no. Please, 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 please. Why would I run into a cave? <laughs> Am I safe? Please tell me I'm safe. Please tell me I'm safe. Right, so let's... Um, sorry about you not being able to see right now. I'm going to make a uh, quick pickaxe and get some cobble so I can actually make a furnace and smelt down some charcoal. I can barely see actually in this, so I do actually really do apologize for this. Flora, just ju uh, during out the, the, throughout the series I will make sure that um, oh god that doesn't look nice. I will make sure that uh, torches are always carried on me to make it so you guys can actually see what I'm doing at all times and stuff like that so I can actually make a uh, a furnace right now I need to smell that some food but I think light is more important like you guys being able to see is a lot more important to me so let's throw that in there with uh, that I think I think that's how you do it oh there we go we can see kinda not entirely but you can see a bit so I don't know what these things are in the top corner. They're actually kind of helpful at some point. Like uh, different sort of tools. Um, it tells you if, like, so if I was to click an axe on here, I'd say I can't have this with that. So it's actually really helpful. Um, plus, I'm going to take this opportunity to go through some of the uh, the things that we can actually build. Like, um, like look, you got hybrid solar panels. So you got solar panels which you can use to get power. But I think. That would be temporary if we were to get that, and then it will be um, off to get a nuclear reactor at some point. Oh god, it's gone dark again. Did I get some charcoal? Yes, I've got four pieces of charcoal. Good, good. Now I can actually get some torches. Right, there we go. So I'm going to make a little sort of like temporary underground base here. So this is marble. Which is actually a really, really nice block if you get to chisel it, I think. Um, so yeah, like... I'm actually... Really, really confused to what I'm actually doing now. I have no idea, cause, like... This is as new to me as it is to you guys. Like, some of you guys might have even played this mod pack before. So, you never know. So, you know, like... I've got to figure out how to make stuff like Thorncraft, I'm completely useless at all these magic mods and the only thing I can do is vanilla and sort of I can kind of do um bees. I can I can kinda of handle the bees. Um coal goes there and beef goes there. Um so I kinda of, I can kinda of ha handle like the bees uh, mods, the forestry mods, kind of. I, also, I'm going to still need a bit of input from the wikis, and hopefully from you guys as well, on how to do stuff like that. Uh, so there's some quick iron there, I think. Like, obviously, it's not as easy to identify your ores. I think that's what, what iron. But I think if you look at, um, if we type in ore quickly, uh, lots of different ores are going to... Well, yeah. Whoa! Look at all those bees. See what I mean? Like, all of these. And you can eventually make bows that are like... Uh, which one is it? Um, is it that one? No, it's not it. Um, no, 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 no. Which one is it? There's a diamond drone, I think. A diamond princess, or like, look at all that. This is insane. So, if you actually look at some of the combs that you can actually get, you can get, uh, yeah, colored combs. 
uh, they're just coloured combs. Uh, I'll, I'll run it through you when we actually get down to the topic of bees, because it's just random. Like, here's your ores, you got cinnabar ore, these are just covers, but these are actually ores. Amethyst, uh, Malachite, Mal that sounds like I'm saying something that's not meant to be said. Uh, sapphire, ruby, peridot, uh, topaz, ruby, oh, did I did say ruby already, didn't I? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, tanzanite, uh, copper, tin, silver, lead, ferrous, and then you got like cinnabar and stuff like that. So it's actually, you obviously you've got the vanilla Minecraft ores. Like, there's just so many things that we're just going to come across on this uh, series. And as you, when you press E, you can see these. This is for like, this is for the Galactic Craft. So you get your air canisters, you have parachute and stuff. So when you ca uh, you land your rocket and stuff. Um. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be exciting. I think it's gonna be good. And I've got to be careful because I think I got attacked by a werewolf out there. So I'm not gonna wait in here till it's daytime. Um, I'm actually gonna also put that there just so nothing actually sneaks in. I've got some friendly rats with me in here. I say friendly. They're rats. <laughs> Doesn't everybody hate a rat? Well, unless you like rats, then good for you. Good for you. Yeah. See, I don't want to criticise that because people probably do like rats. People are probably fans of rats. So, I've just got to be careful of what I say. Um, but yeah. Rats are not the nicest creatures to live with, in my opinion. So no hate for me saying that, please. Please. But, obviously, your opinion is your own opinion, so... You have access to your own opinion. So I'm sort of briefly just building, like, a room here. So I can sort of, like... Just go all out and... Start making a temporary base, because I don't want to go straight into building a base, because... Episode 1 is usually sort of like the getting used to the mod pack, getting stuff like that. Getting general stuff sorted. And then it's more like episode 2 or 3 or maybe 4. That's where the base building comes into tack. Um, so yeah, that's probably when about it's going to come in, like episode 2, 3 or 4. Um, if you want it quicker, so we can get some more of the adventure stuff and stuff like that, make sure you do tell me in the comment section. But I think, I'm thinking next episode is going to be a mining episode. That kind of sucks, really. Like, but it's going to be exploring different ores without the mod pack. And as you can see, it's one, there's one right there, but I'm not sure what it is. Well, I'm kind of scared to see what it is as well. I don't really want to see it. Um, so it's just going to be generally uh, having a look out throughout the the cave aspects of the the mod the mod pack. So let's just throw that there. Uh, let's grab this workbench, put it next to the furnace in there. Um, so yeah, guys, like ideas of like builds, like colored, like some of you've probably worked with um, with like what's it blocks before, like carpenters, and you probably have really really good ideas of what building types look nice and what like items look nice when you put them as building walls and roofs and stuff like that. Like, I'm thinking for the roof we're going to have, like, dark grey wool, or light grey wool, one of them two. Um, or maybe even black, I'm not sure. I'm thinking dark grey, but I'm really not sure. It could be any of them. So I'm just going to build out this sort of thing, get me some general cobblestone. Um, hopefully we can have, like, a bunny patch at some point, like a hutch of some sort. Which will look pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's just light this up a little bit more so we have no mobs spawning in here. Obviously, I want to have a look at what this. Uh, I'll get this iron. I think this is iron. Yeah, iron. Uh, this one piece. Um, and then we've got this ore up here, which I have no idea what it is. Could be like. Could be salt or. Ferrous or. I don't know. It could be anything really. So it's salt. Yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this um, mod before, but it's practically useless. Obviously, if we need it, it's not the hardest. It's like even more common to find than coal. So, um, I'm gonna quickly level this out so we can actually um, what? Uh, name your pet's name. Uh, Billy. If your name's Billy, you feel privileged. 
How the hell did I just name that animal? Look at him. Oh my god. Dude, that is insane. Right, this one could be... This this one could be called... Jimmy. Actually, I've got to get capitals. Jim on me. Jim... Jimmy. There we go. Hey, Jimmy. How's it going? <laughs> um, how do I get Jimmy off my head? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good fun. Hey, Billy. Hey there, Billy. How's it going? How's it going, up there, little Billy? There we go. <laughs> oh, so I've still got my festive skin as it's coming close to Christmas. Also on the channel, some festive games and stuff like that's going to come up and boot you right in the face. No, it's going to like give you a good old sloppy kiss or something, I don't know. Um, so let's just make this into a square room. So this is going to be our general hideout for now. I might uh, next episode we'll work on making it look a little bit better. But it's, this mob, this uh, texture pack is more like a medieval sort of thing, so it looks like a lot more dungeon type if you know what I mean so we're like currently in the dungeon let's just say that so we're stuck in a dungeon let's leave it as that, we might, might put some like iron bars or something to make it look like we're stuck in a dungeon um, we've also got our good friends Billy and Jimmy obviously very very good friends, hopefully they don't die because they look cute, look at them Ah, oh, look at that, they look adorable. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to head over to the mines next episode, get some general materials, uh, get some more wood, stuff like that. So make sure you do tune in, give us the support, and I will continue this series. Obviously, it's completely unique. I've not seen nobody do it on YouTube yet, so make sure you do tell me if you have seen somebody do it on YouTube. So I can actually check their channel out, their, their series out, and just see, like, how they did stuff, like... It could act as some sort of like tutorials for my help and and if you get any support you guys can give me like uh, different mods you want to see me do and how to do them um, do please make sure you do tell me but yeah guys thanks for watching please remember to like a like subscribe and a comment and that's it from me